All right, so this is the uh, Hebrew word for pestilence. Hebrew word goes back to the, uh, the word debar, which means moraine, cattle disease, cattle plague. So basically, it's a plague um, or a disease outbreak. And, and a lot of times, like it says, a cattle disease, that would be classified as a foodborne illness. A lot of times you'll watch these different shows and you'll see. Uh, in most cases, cattle could be also pigs. Cattle goes back to the Hebrew word a lot, which means, uh, um, you know, in most cases, oxen, cows, goats, and pigs. Um, farmers are known as, if I'm not mistaken, the big three. Pigs, cows, and uh, horses are, are, are known as really the big three. Horses are for, for transportation, cattle for grazing and, and food, and the, the uh, pigs are for... Um, you know, cleanup. They're the cleanup workers, and out of the three, the most unclean of the three is pigs. Pigs have, um, you know, uh, have horrible diets, so to speak. You know, they they actually eat uh, feces. They eat all kind of unclean and foul foods. So, you know, that disease. When you watch these different shows, it's it's one of the main catalysts to sicken the people. A lot of times, it'll be a bat. Like they'll show certain things with bat feces. It'll be a bat that's infected. Or something that's infected and it gets in the pig. The pig distributes and it goes into the houses of people. And next thing you know, it's a worldwide plague. Which, of course, that's a little far-fetched. But it, it can not happen like that all through the spirit of the Lord. You know, how this disease is going to be pushed out. You know, the, it's, it's all through however the spirit actually um, pushes it out. You know, and um, like I said, the CDC, they have these different diseases. And they know how to destroy the world. They know how to clean up majority of the population individuals in the CDC uh, you have these different video games like Plague Inc where it shows you how to destroy majority of the people in the population and that's what Esau has plans to do alright going back to the Georgia Godstones and matter of fact before I click this scripture I want to show this this list because this is the HIV in Atlanta and you see in Georgia you know how, how affected the people are mainly on the east coast you know, Florida all the way up, up north, you see how the pestilence outbreak or the, the HIV epidemic is, is, is spiraling out of control. You know, it's not as bad over there, you know, on the, on the West Coast. You have people that have AIDS and things of that nature, but Midwest, the West Coast is not that horrible in comparison to here in the Deep South. Now, why is it so horrible here in, in, in the Deep South? It's because you have majority of the Israelites and the blacks that live here. And you have the same map with the blacks in America, black concentration in America. It's the same map. HIV in, the, in, the, in Atlanta and the blacks in America, the exact same map. So that shows you that Esau is pushing this disease to the blacks here in America. And he's looking to uh, destroy us as a nation. You know, going back to his, um, you know, his different uh different uh plans in his, his, his system the new world order you know and i'm gonna end it with this scripture because at the end of the day it's going to be a pestilence outbreak but the lord yeah how about shimmy i is going to deliver us from such it, it, you had men of the lord when when these diseases came you had righteous men that didn't get caught up in the plague of hell when two-thirds were getting uh judged all right so us brothers that are of the hopeful elect we just have to have faith Depend on the Lord, lean on the Lord for guidance and safety, and we're going to receive such. So this is First Chronicles 21 and 11. So Gad came to David and said unto him, Thus saith the Lord, Choose thee, either three years of famine or three months to be destroyed before thy foes, while the sword of thine enemies overtake thee, or else three days the sword of the Lord, even the pestilence of the land, and the angel of the Lord destroying throughout all the coasts of Israel. Now, therefore, advise thyself that word, what word I shall bring again to him that sent me. And David said unto Gad, I am in great strait. Let me fall now in the hand of the Lord, for very great are his mercies, but let me not fall into the hand of man. So he wanted to basically go through the mercies of the Lord, but he didn't want to fall into the, in, to the hands of his foes. So the Lord actually um, made the choosing factor. And it says, so the Lord sent pestilence upon Israel, and there fell of Israel 70,000 men. And the pestilence was only three days. All right, it was only three days, the sword of the Lord, even, which, which the word even is, which is the pestilence. But the other ones are three years. So that three days of famine 
was three times as, as deadly as those, you know, the years of famine and the months of uh, plagues of the enemies. It was a short span, but it was so lethal and it was such a potent kill. So it says, and the Most High sent an angel unto Jerusalem to destroy it. And as he was destroying, the Lord beheld and he repented him of the evil. Many he held him back and said to the angel that destroyed, it is enough. Stay now thine hand. And the angel of the Lord stood by the threshing hold of Ornan the Jebusite. So the Lord is going to have these different deaf angels killing, you know, as, as in the days of old. You know, you see these different diseases killing these people. That's all by the hand and the design of the Lord. The reason why HIV is a complex disease that nobody could cure, and they, they don't really have the uh, disease for it. I'm saying as, as far as the common people, you do have cures that you can actually get it, but majority of the people don't know. It's because the Heavenly Father. The Heavenly Father created these different pestilence, sent these different pestilence through the hands of evil men to destroy uh, evil people. All right, destroy two-thirds of the people. Of his own, uh, you know, of his stock that didn't want to adhere unto the words just like in the days of old. And it's going to be ten times as worse. We're in Sodom all over again. This is Sodom and Gomorrah all over again here in Atlanta. So the Lord is going to destroy this place uh, piece by piece, bit by pit. But the men of the Lord, we're going to have safety and we just have to depend and, and have full faith that Yahweh Shema Shah is going to deliver us from all these different diseases and sicknesses. So I want to end by giving all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh by Hashem Yahushua by Hashem Rakakodash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Shalom, Makim.